Cauliflower rice is the rage right now, and whether you call it cauliflower rice or cauliflower crumbles, it doesn't matter because it's just delicious and it's easy to make at home. You can get it in the store in a bag. You'll find it in the produce department a lot of times, but it's so easy to make at home and why not? So you can either use a food processor or a box grater to make the little crumbles. To start with, the very first thing is to wash your head of cauliflower and then be sure that it's totally dry. That's important. You want it nice and dry. And then break it up into small pieces. It doesn't have to be chopped. Now, if you're using a box grater, you actually want large pieces that you can hold on to and grate on the largest hole of your box grater. But if you're using a food processor, this is a good size. You just want it to be able to fit nicely in the bottom of your food processor with your blade in there. So you can see I've got my pieces and I do it in batches because I get better results, more equal size little crumbles. If you put too much in at one time, the bottom's gonna turn to mush before the top pieces will be little crumbles. So just do it a little at a time. I like to just fill the bottom of my food processor. Pulse it and keep checking it and don't do it too long or it will turn to mush. So here you can see I've got my little crumbles that look a lot like rice. And in fact, a lot of recipes, you could substitute this for rice. So if you're going to make, let's say a lot of, well, a lot of people are making the cauliflower pizza crust right now, you're good to go. Just use this for the crust and follow your recipe. But if you're using it at a, as a rice substitute, I like to saute it a little bit in some olive oil. So I've got some olive oil heating on the stove and all I'm going to do is add this to my pan and saute it, not on a very high heat because I don't want it to get brown. I just want to heat it up a little bit. And I like that crunchy texture of the little crumbles. And then I'll just season it with some salt and pepper. And I like to add a little squeeze of lime juice right at the end. It kind of removes any bitterness that might be there from the cauliflower. So there you go, it's easy as a side. And now pretty soon you'll be picking fresh herbs from your garden. You can just tear those up and add those to your cauliflower rice. There's all kinds of things you can do with cauliflower rice. So give it a try now that you know how easy it is to make it yourself at home. I'm Sue Doden sharing Good Food for Good Life 365.